Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Dave Chappelle's new stand-up The Closure and YouTube released some clips on it earlier today or yesterday I believe and I've been looking forward to doing that for some time because it is such a brilliant stand-up and it's been dedicated to Norm Macdonald as well. So without any delays, let's get to Dave Chappelle got into a fight with a lesbian. Here we go. I got in a fight. I almost got in a fight. It's complicated. I was in a bar in Austin with my wife and 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 uh, it was during COVID and, we, and, and uh, a woman came to our table and she was maskless. And this bitch came over, no mask, all H words. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Droplets was coming out of this bitch's face. We all covered our drinks. Oh, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> It's still, it's a still image, but I still want to look at the screen. It just have it. Now I look over the table that she came from, and I peep game. The men at the table were filming me. This happens when you're famous. People will come over and try to rattle your cage and get you to say something stupid or dumb so that their buddies can film it and they get a video of you embarrassing yourself. And clearly, I said this is what's happening. And these dumb motherfuckers thought that it was my first rodeo. <laughs> Don't fuck with Dave. I've seen this. I completely forgot these jokes, but I've seen this. I know. Sadly, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I fell for the trap. I ran right over there. I said, I pointed right in the camera. I said, you're a bitch ass nigga for doing this to me. <laughs> Dude, man, I've done this so many times and still fell for and it. He was shocked that I said it. He said, oh. and when he did like this, I seen all his fingernails was painted and I realized like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this fellow's gay. Now, you know how I talk. I call everybody a bitch ass nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's not a right thing to do if they're gay. You know what I mean? And, and, and now I was in trouble. And not only that, the motherfucker was huge. He stood up, he was towering over me. He must have been 6'5", a big, white, corn-fed, Texas homosexual. This nigga was ready to fight. <laughs> and he started barking on me, but I stood my ground. I wasn't scared. How could I be scared? This motherfucker's shirt was tied up in a knot like this. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I just had a mental image from go, doing it. I, I was ready, I was ready. And, and, and then, and then, right when you think we would fight, guess what he did? He picked up his phone and he called the police. And this, this thing I'm describing is a major issue that I have with that community. Gay people are minorities until yeah. they need to be white again. <laughs> I'm being very brutally honest so we can solve this problem. I'm telling you right now, a black gay person would have never done that to me. Because a black gay person knows when the police shows up, they're not going to care who called them. They don't show up like, which one of you niggers is Clifford? <laughs> <laughs> We're all Clifford. It links to another joke he told earlier, Clifford. This happens far too often. Another time, about six years ago, there was a, a lesbian woman that, that tried to sell a story about me to TMZ. Thank goodness TMZ could see right through the sham of that story. I remember this one. She claimed that I beat her up in a nightclub because she was a lesbian. That is fucking crazy. Bitch, I didn't even know you was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Even though I've seen it, I've completely forgot Thank this bit. God thing. TMZ didn't believe that. You know, you don't remember all the jokes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was her fault. I had no choice. I came in the club minding my own business, and a woman came up to me. She goes, oh, my God, Dave Chappelle. And I was just being reciprocally nice. Hey, miss, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Benign talk. Nothing to it. And all of a sudden, this lesbian fellow stepped between us. <laughs> Hey, nigga, that's my girl. I said, yo, yo, my man, back up like that. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I ain't backing up off shit, nigga. That's my girl. I said, bro, you're going to have to give me three feet like this. Come on, man. 
Don't rain my face, innit? Call me a man, motherfucker. I'm a woman. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked deep in this nigga's cheekbones. <laughs> I said, oh my God, Adam you are a woman. <laughs> it was just too much for me to even wrap my mind around. But I tell you what, I unballed my fist immediately, and I soften my posture so that she would know she's in no danger. I even changed the tone of my voice. I said softly, sweetly, like a pimp might say. I know it's coming. <laughs> Bitch, I'm about to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> Man. I should have done it. <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't say that. She dropped that foot back. Boop. She was in a perfect South Paul stance. Her shoulders were angry. <laughs> her head moving. Boxed her. I said, oh no. This bitch boxes for real. <laughs> she threw a wild hook at me and I saw it coming from yesterday. So I slipped it like this. <laughs> I had no choice. I had to go to work. I let that jab go. You should have seen me go, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I tenderized them titties like chicken cutlets. <laughs> I whooped the toxic masculinity out of that bitch. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love Dave, man. You don't understand. I love Dave. <laughs> Dave That's Chappelle. Why I don't go out no more. One of the goats. Just trying to chill. I'm just trying to live a peaceful life. That's why I live in Ohio. You know, I live in a little town in Ohio. It must be like 3,700 people. Small, hippie town. Culturally, it might feel like, like Ann Arbor to you. <laughs> Ann Arbor. You know what I mean? I don't know how big Ann Arbor is. Hippies and shit like that. Or oh, how hippies. And they always ask me, like, Dave, why you live in that hippie town? And I'd be embarrassed to tell them the truth. Do you know why I live there? Because Yellow Springs, Ohio, is the most beautiful women in the world. And a lot of people might disagree with me, but you got to see them for yourself. They're gorgeous. But it all depends on what you're into, you know what I mean? I like white bitches with dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a strip club in Yellow Springs, I would call that shit strippies. <laughs> naked hippies all the time. And I'd only hire girls with long titties and and long vagina hair that looks like they slept oh. <laughs> Man, that's a bad <laughs> mental image, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I come back, bitch, get your feet in that dirt and get up there and give the people what they came to see. Choke up, bitch. Get your feet choked up. Like you get your gloves choked up before I'm, uh, a couple years ago, I was in Ohio at a shopping mall. An old white lady, this is true, she was, she was following me around the mall, which sounds paranoid, but I'm sure she was following me. Mean lady, too. You ever see a woman with lines on her face that just tell you, like, even if she smiled, it looked like it would hurt. <laughs> the muscles in her face. Karen. I knew she was following me because she was at places that had nothing to do with her. I'd be looking around like, what is this old bitch doing in GameStop and Foot Lock and all the places <laughs> I like to go? And every time I see her, she'd just be looking at me on me. And eventually I forgot about her. So then after I'm shopping, I go all the way to the back of the parking lot. I'm parked all the way in the back. And, and as soon as I open my car door, I hear a voice go, David Chappelle. Just like that. I didn't even have to look. I knew it was her. And I look back, and sure enough, there she was, that face. <laughs> to be honest with you, she probably wasn't even that old. She's probably around my age. But she was a white woman. This, this bitch looked terrible. Going <laughs> 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 you know, the way. I kept my cool. <clears throat> I was nice. I said, hello, miss. And she didn't say anything back. All she said was, I watch your comedy. I said, uh-oh. And then she says, this is true, she goes, sounds to me like you hate women. 
I said, well, you know what, miss? It's art. And you're free to interpret this art however you'd like. But I can exactly. tell you, as the maker of this art, that I don't believe that I feel that way. And she said, well, I think. And I said, shut up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Before I kill you and put you in the trunk, ain't nobody around here. <laughs> All the way to extreme. Shut I'm up, just kidding, bitch. I didn't say that. No, seriously. I felt that way, but that's not what I said. <laughs> I was more clever than that. You know what I said? And this is exactly what I said. I said, Miss, before you finish that statement, let me ask you a question. Where'd you see me? Did you buy a ticket to a concert I did? I doubt that. Or, 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 or maybe you watched one of my specials on Netflix. Or, or, did I follow you to your car? and do my act. She said, what? I said, keep it in the comment section. Bitch, this is real life. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. And then I drove off. So, that was Dave got in a fight with a lesbian. The thing is, the whole premise of his joke is like, people will inter interpret his joke however they feel it offends them. You know what I mean? It's like he's he's telling you a joke. It's a fucking joke. It doesn't matter who you are, what race you are, what culture you are, what religion you are. I don't give a fuck. It's a joke. Take it. Because you laughing on every other fucking joke, but you're offended by what he's saying about another race or culture. You're laughing, ha ha ha. It's funny when he's targeting you. You take offense. Well. And and as I mentioned, it is really good. I love I love Dave Chappelle. And his stuff is just marvellous. Because every joke he does, every story he tells you, there's an underlying message behind it. He's trying to get awareness. He's trying to let people know, look, all of this shit is fine, but you need to think about all the shit at the bottom as well. Just because something, this one is fine, don't mean the shit at the bottom doesn't matter. It requires as same, uh, what do you call it, attention as the detail up top. So that's sort of thing he does. And I absolutely love it. And I'm going to be doing uh, a lot more Dave Chappelle. Probably next week, all I'm going to do is Norm, Dave Chappelle and George Carlin. So keep an eye on it. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys next time.